special call meeting that has been posted uh, that we call the other three um, members who are in leadership um, are not going to be in attendance tonight. So Ms. Dole and I are holding an open discussion uh, meeting um, with the customers and uh, you know afterwards we will be with this type of setup by us being two board members we are supposed to have security provided according to who's paying me they told me to exit the premises so. uh, um the board is paying you because we are board members okay. yeah that's that's what I was about. So you <laughs> will be paid. But this is what I'm telling you. Yeah, I, I go by a chain of command. So <laughs> my, my sergeant told me to leave it at this time. So he he spoke with whomever. I guess we all sure. voted to hire you. <laughs> <laughs> we all voted to hire you. And they just decided not they, to show they, they, up. Exactly. So you are speaking well, to the chain of command. That's it. Well, I have to go by my chain of command first. Well, let's Maybe. let me speak with your chain of command yeah. so that I can. You can call. Clarify you this. can call it. His name is Sergeant Austin. Okay. We'll give you his number. No problem. So you you're not saying. He, I was advised by Mr. Heidelberg and Mr. Davis and Marco. So uh, uh, so my question is, you can up. Five board members. Well, I come up here after that, Marco. Please show the live y'all. Uh, this is exclusive okay, footage see, behind the scene of the Pritchard right. Water Boy right now. They just like they like I told you yesterday. They they trying to bind you. Yeah. Mr. So, McClintock, you know it is. Your interest, if you would stay. Yes, my speaker, Sergeant. Austin, I had that, that that talk with y'all yesterday. Hey, Sergeant. This is John Johnson, Pritchard Water Board member, and uh, how are you doing? Good deal, good deal. But well, we have a meeting here um, tonight, and uh, we have one of your um, contracted um, deputies here, and um, we are supposed to have security. Um, however, um, our chairman, which you know that's how he is, is the title chairman, um, asks that um, the security leave, and uh, we have customers here. Um, we have citizens here, um, formal um, elected officials here at the meeting, and um, we are to be provided with um, security. And we all, um, as one board, voted to um, voted for your contract for you all to be hired to provide security services. And so, as I was explaining it to your deputy, who was very courteous, he didn't he didn't give us a problem at all but you know he wanted me to speak to you because you were his chain of command because I was letting him know that he was speaking to the chain of command here at Pritchett Water and uh, we would like for him to uh, be with us for this hour and um, lock up um, the way that you know it goes um, for all of our scheduled um, board meetings. We are Mrs. Lewis supervisor, so she doesn't she doesn't she doesn't say um, when you all are supposed to um, terminate and leave. Is what I'm trying to get over to you, according to the chain of command here. We are board members. Um, we all have you know equal rights, and you have two board members here, and you have customers, and we need you know we need security provided. Mm -hmm. 
I hear you. Well, we not we not gonna blame or hold the deputy accountable. So that's the reason why I asked to speak, you know, with you because we were trying to, you know, explain to him and, uh, and he followed the chain his chain of command and want us to speak, you know, with you. But um, I've tried to explain this to you um, as clearly as possible that you are talking to um, two of the people that hired you. Um, that voted to hire you to provide security, and that's all that we're asking. And so um, I feel that you, you should be reasonable and um, allow this deputy to, yes. Gotcha. Gotcha. For one hour, yes. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, then. Well, thank you. And we will see to you being reimbursed in the future. But thank you, Sergeant Austin. We appreciate it. Yes. Yes, well. Okay, well, thank you. And we will see to you uh, being reimbursed. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Would you like to speak? Back with your deputy, he is he's, he's one of a kind. Okay. Yes, yes. By six thirty, he will be headed to wherever it is he needs to go. Oh. Oh. Okay, we will. We will. Thank you. Thank you. Uh huh. All right. Goodbye. All right. Let me give him a call. Yes. How you doing, sir? Good. All right. We gonna have some food. All right, all right. We gonna go ahead and get started. You wanna go live? Since we got all this bureaucracy. You wanna know? You wanna have to just pay for it? I mean, they record or go live. Um, you can go live. I mean, you hear, um, yes, okay. go live. Um, thank you. What's up, y'all? Y'all know it's the big y'all, J459 morning show. We here uh, live. You know what I'm saying? We had to go through that to get the meeting started. Um, some of the other board members had told them. Good evening, ladies. Thought, uh, good evening, ladies. Yeah, let's get good to the meeting. Pay attention. She hit the shell button. Um, we are here this evening. We um, this is a not a regular scheduled board meeting um, because you can look at the wall. These are the five board members, and uh, you see the two board members that are present um, on January um, January tenth. We as a board voted, um, the majority of the board members voted to have a um, special call board meeting um, because the issue has been brought up to do a rate study um, that's going to cost nearly $30,000. The reason for the rate study is that we will um, be asking the board some of the board members, I'm not going to even say we because I'm not in that mindset. Some of the, board, well, leadership. Leadership believes that it's time for another rate increase on your water services um, due to our bond um, covenant. Okay, so you have leadership that believes that you, the customer, um, needs a another rate increase 
you have Director Doyle and myself that's in the minority that feels as though we do not. Okay, so we, you know, at a crossroad. We got, you need it, you don't need it. Okay, so in order to settle this, we called a special call meeting. Reason why it's a special call meeting because it's before our regular scheduled board meeting, which happens every second Monday at 4.30. So we voted to have this special call board meeting. Um, we have a financial consultant um, by the name of Dana Foster, who's supposed to be tracking our financial information. Okay, I've, she's not um, been in communication with us about this deal with the, with the rate study footer. So we wanted her to come so that she could explain to all of us why it is that the customers need another rate increase. Um, we voted on this. It was settled. Um, the attorney asked that we, um, work around her schedule, that we work around her schedule, Miss Foster's schedule, so that she could be here, because she has, a, you know, another job. So that's the reason why we are here at 5.30 instead of 4.30. Um, however, um, between the attorney's recommendation and the majority of the um, board voting to have this special call meeting, um, some minds were changed in leadership. And so we ask that um, the meeting be held on to this evening, February the 1st, before our regular call meeting on February the 14th. <coughs> so we did. Everyone was in agreement. We sent the poll out. Um, we had two yeses, which are here tonight, and we had three no's. Okay, in order for us to have a meeting, we need three people, mm -hmm. three board members, because that's a quorum. Okay, so leadership decided not to, that they were not going to be able to be here. So Ms. Dole and I took it upon ourselves to just have an open discussion where we can talk back and forth as customer and board member. Uh, we will not be voting making any type of decision tonight because it is not a three board member meeting. Mm -hmm. And so that's the reason why we are here. We're going to share some information with you. We want your feedback on, you know, whatever questions you may have. Um, it may be something that is may not even pertain to this particular topic, but you all took the time to come out. You asked the question, we'll provide you with the best answer that we can. If we don't know that answer, we're going to jot it down and get back with you. So, again, thank you all for coming. Uh, Ms. Dole, are you ready to get started on your, on your end? And uh, we'll, go, we'll go from there. And thank you, Mr. Y'all, for providing. Yes, As my colleague stated that we do not have the three votes to vote on it. But y'all are the paying customer that they want to give y'all an increase. And I feel like we don't need this increase because we as, I'm saying customer because I live in the city of Pritchard, that we already paying enough for our water. We just got a raise in October. I wasn't on the board when the raise was voted on. But now I'm on there, I don't see no need for an increase. So I just wanted, uh, me and Director Johnson wanted the citizens to know that y'all have a voice and y'all need to use it. Because you notice it's five board members, but it's only two here. So you, you can see which ones are not here. So it's time for, they say, when you open up your mouth, you need to express how you feel about these increases that just going to be put on y'all, which is not right. No, it's not. So y'all need to own your mouth and, and say something. 
as, as my colleague was saying, uh, Miss Dana Foster is not complying to a lot of stuff that she's sharing with the other ones, that we're not getting at. She's supposed to be in here at 530. I guess she decided not to show up. So as citizens, please express to your neighbors, to anyone that would voice their opinion, preachers do not need an increase in their water bill. We pay enough now. So I'm, I'm you know, it, it's sad to say that when y'all put, uh, when the city council put somebody on the board, that we can't talk to the customer. We just tell y'all what's going to happen. I, I don't look at myself only being on the water board. I'm a customer too. So if they get an increase, give y'all an increase, I get an increase. So it's not fair to y'all. And I'm, I'm working hard trying to find out some things because they're keeping us in the dark about a lot of things that the customer needs to know what's going on in the city of Pritchard what versus your water bill. That's right. You know, but uh, as my colleague was saying, Pritchard water has money. Mm -hmm. So I don't see the reason for an increase. It's not that we don't have money. It's there. And I, and I also want to speak on the wells. We need these wells. Amen. So we can have affordable water just like all the other little cities around in Mobile County. It's not fair to y'all that y'all have spoke up, y'all want the wells, that certain people feel like on the board, y'all don't deserve the wells. Hmm. Which we do. I'm going to use the word we. That's right. We need those wells. We do. Because I want affordable water. I want to find and bring my water bill down. And as they say that I can afford it. And it's not fair to the citizens. That's right. So we need y'all to let other people in the community know mm -hmm. that we need the wells, we need affordable water, and we do not need an increase in mm -hmm. our water bill because printed water and sewage company has money. It's just like what Ms. Dole was saying. Take this down for a minute. Um, we do have money. I'm going to pass some sheets around to you in a few seconds. You may not like the messenger, which is me, but I'm asking you to like the message that I'm bringing you. Um, you know, when we talking about the um, rate increase with the company called Ralph Tennis. Leadership. We don't have no money. We don't have no money. We do have money. How many of you um, have paid a water bill since April of 2021? How many of you, by a show of hand, receive a water bill each month? That's what I thought. Um, so it, it is many more of you. It's like close to 10 more thousand of you that um, either come through the doors every month or either you mail it in, you call it in, however you do, but you pay your bill. Mm -hmm. And if you don't pay it, then we're looking at $160 to come back, rehook it up, and then you're going to pay your bill plus mm -hmm. late fees. Mm -hmm. So we have money. We got money. I want you all to um, take this and look at the orange numbers. The orange numbers, this is the average of what we, you know, take in a month. Let's look through those right there, just a few. Those orange numbers. And then I have it here in blue numbers. Here in blue numbers, so that you would be able to look. Now, going back to the well subject, we had when we went to past leadership went to New York. Where are they? Where are they? Information. 
went to New York and we received a bond for nearly $40 million. And at that time, the agreement was in order for us to stay within the bond covenant, in which that $40 million was to secure the wells. So we have the money to do the wells. It's just that getting leadership to go ahead and begin the construction process. So the wells are not something that we are hoping for, we are wishing for. It is here. We have the money. We had an engineering firm that had been doing studies that was going to do it safely. But at an open board meeting back on November the 8th, leadership voted to fire them. And so the reason why Director Doyle and I are pushing against this rate increase is because each October, it's on your bill, you receive a 5% rate increase. And that's just to keep us where we need to because you have to spend money in order to make money. And so we are bringing in enough money according to my records and what has been provided here at the utility that we will be in compliance with our bond and we don't need a second rate increase. And then my question is, if we do, if leadership feels that we do need a rate increase, then come and meet with us and, and show us your proof, your evidence, but we cannot seem to make that happen. And you all witnessed the kind of up here battle we had to fight about 10 minutes ago just to be able to hold this meeting. So now, if you, if we are in that situation, then you need to come and show and prove that we are in that situation. Because from what I'm seeing, we are not in that situation. We don't have a money problem here at Pritchett Water. We have a management problem here at Pritchett Water. And yes, we do. Manager problem. You know, under leadership, we um, are now beginning to have a lot of lawsuits. I'm sure you all have seen on television that could have been handled, could have been prevented, um, should have been handled, should have been prevented if we didn't have any money. You know, you don't go and find trouble. You don't go and pay attorneys $250 an hour to fight a case that could have been prevented for, for hours on hand when you have a money problem. That's not a money problem. That's a management problem. You know, it's just like your, your, your paycheck, your personal paycheck. If you don't manage it well, then you're not going to have anything to show for it. And so that is what our current leadership is doing here um, at Pritchett Water. Um, go ahead, Mr. And as my colleague was saying, that the money problem, each one of you looks at the amount of money that comes through that door every week. How much is to, to be said? All right. February. Two thousand and twenty. This was we collected nine hundred twenty-five thousand seven hundred and forty-one dollars. Let me see this for this line. Okay. Around the same time of this year, April of twenty twenty-one, a year later, we collected eight hundred thousand thirty-nine dollars three hundred eight hundred and thirty-nine thousand three hundred and seventy-nine dollars. May of 2021, $901,999. June of this past year, $1,064,907. And so on. And so that does, that does not to me sound like there is a money problem here. There is a management problem. 
And like I said, if there is a problem, and Director Doyle and myself are wrong, and how we feel, and what we are saying, and what we are presenting, then we need leadership to be here to prove us wrong. But where are they out trying to block, you all witnessed it, um, us from coming and sharing with you the customer who is going to bear this burden continuously and continuously and continuously. Mm -hmm. When I was sworn in on August the 14th, 2017, I made it my pledge that I was going to look out for the customer and do whatever it was that I could to look out for you and to make your water rates affordable. Well, here I am tonight speaking and letting you know that I, I voted to um, have placed and deposited into um, Sonova's bank, and we have a balance um, for the well project of $24,302,690.99. And the cost of the well project is $14 million, and then the other excess is going toward the, the new meters that are being placed in so that your water can be read accurately and, 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 and show where you have leaks and spikes in it, just like you do the same benefit you get at Alabama Power and that spire. Uh, painting the water tank so when you ride through your neighborhoods and your community or you have company, they can see that you live in an area that has some pride. So that kind of thing. And I'm standing here tonight going against all kind of grain to bring you all this information um, along with myself because I'm a lifelong resident and where is leadership? You know, where is leadership if uh, Director Johnson and Director Doyle are wrong? And one thing I, I would like to add to about those meters, each one of y'all should be getting mm -hmm. a, a meter out in front have a blue top to it. It's the same meters that Mobile has. That will cut down as he touched on a little bit the leaks. If the leak is on your side, it's gonna read. If it's on our side, it's gonna read. It's gonna read whatever the problem is. We are gonna know how to go out there and fix it. And that's what we need. You know, everybody, how the meters ain't being read, the meat ain't being read. We're trying to do better by giving y'all something that we're reading. Apple. If you get a leak, it's gonna say leak. Mobile has it. What preacher can't have? We'll sit it just like Mobile is. It's time out for making us little folks feel like we are small. We, we are city just like Mobile. May not be bigger than Mobile, but we have pride in our city. When you go outside, you don't want to uh, see something down there that ain't right. You say the meters ain't being read, so we try to give you something that the meters do be read every month. With no problem. So, like at my uh, colleague said, we need to let leadership know that we are tired of whatever they want to throw at us, we're going to accept. We're not going to accept it anymore. Mm -hmm. We want just what the other town in the Mobile County is getting. Our affordable water. Mm -hmm. That will read our meters and read it to us right. And that's what we want. Mm -hmm. I know I'm, I'm a citizen. I want it. I do too. That's right. I want it. I want, I want every, everything around here to be beautified. And that's what I want for my city. I live in it, so I call it my city. That's right. It is your city. And that's what everybody else that I have talked to want to know, when is the water bill going to ever be right? Mm -hmm. We're trying to get there now. But we have leadership thinking that they should go up on the water. Mm -hmm. No, we don't need to go up on the water. Because we just read to y'all the amount of money that the water come to take in weekly. Mm -hmm. And the amount of money that we have for the week. Me and my colleagues not trying to hide anything from the citizens. I don't have anything to hide. And she said, when I talk my, my spot, my priority was not talk to God about it. 
for the citizen. Because I'm a citizen. And I want everything to be right for the citizen that lives in the city of Pritchard. So we're going to take any questions that y'all may have. Because we're winding up here. But if y'all have any questions, like we said, we'll try to answer them. If not, you're always welcome to come back to our meetings. Second Monday of every month. Now, any questions? Question four. It's open for questions. I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I was at the meeting, I think it was January 10th, where the uh, the board, the body, voted to have a, a special meeting and to uh, discuss the financial uh, conditions of the uh, Pritchard Water and Sewer Board and also in regards to a rate increase. Now we do know, my, my, my question is based on the information that uh, you just read off to us, uh, it doesn't appear to be that uh, we need a rate increase. I'm not a mathematician, but I can, you know, add, multiply, and divide and subtract. But it, don't, it doesn't seem like we need a rate increase when we just had a rate increase. Yes, Ma said that they would be going up on us uh, 5%, I think, for five years, yes, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. So we have a rate increase every year. Every year. And so we have another rate increase. That means we'll be having two rate, rate increase, increases. In, increases in one year. Mm -hmm. And as uh, both of you said, it's not... It's a management problem, and it's a leadership problem. Mm -hmm. And that's why uh, we are asking for new leadership. Mm -hmm. We need new leadership. Yes. Mm -hmm. And if I'm not mistaken, if I stand to be corrected, but uh, I think the board members make as much as the operational manager make an hour. About an hour, yes. And I think that's about $40 an hour, maybe yes. more. I don't think it's less. So these people are paid monthly to come to meetings and to come to special meetings. And it's disrespect. And also, they're not doing their job by not coming to a meeting. And they had from January the 10th mm -hmm. up until today's date to plan for this meeting. Yes. And the uh, Ross, uh, what's his name? Uh, attorney. Ross. Attorney. Yes. He stated that let's call Dana Foster mm -hmm. to yes. make sure she will be available. Yes. And the meeting was scheduled around her yes. because we normally have it at 4.30. And as you see, Dana Foster is not here. So as two members, and I know it takes three votes, and we appreciate you all coming and talking to us. Mm -hmm. But uh, as it stands now, and water must be affordable. Yes. So what you're saying is illegal. It's illegal for water to not be affordable. And we don't want the same thing to happen to us that happened in Flint, Michigan. Yes. Exactly. So I'm asking you two, uh, you represent District 1 and you represent District 2, am I correct, Ms. Doyle? Correct. And you represent Mr. Justin, District 1. Yes. I'm asking as a citizen, what can we do to uh, help this situation because we are not accepting an increase. Mm -hmm. And the board members need to know that we are the bloodline. Mm -hmm. yes. We, the money exactly. comes from us to run mm -hmm. this operation. Yes. And yes. if we don't pay, the operation won't have no money. Mm -hmm. And as it stands now, people pay their water and we scared not to pay it because it's going to cost an extra $160. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what is it that you all need from us as citizens to make this thing work? Well, we need to come together for one thing and to get take uh, uh, petitions and something, whatever it takes. That's what we need to do. We all need to come together. Yeah, petition. And you need to be able to voice your opinion when you come. You know, they want to come to me. But they want you to shut up. You should be able to voice your opinion. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Yes. That's right. Yeah. So, That's are you saying that uh, yeah. you recommending you're recommending a uh, petition? petition? If we have to, but they they uh, they like to want to work. 
They can't get out there playing, baby. They got the wrong to work. Don't say you're going to work and, and stand back and don't do that. Uh, they can work the devil out somebody else. Yeah. See, they say they're going to do something, but they don't do it. Because it always be, when you do that, sometimes it's just always the same person that's doing something. And it's like that in the community that I live in. It's always me and one of my neighbors. Mm-hmm. You know, or two of my neighbors. Well, they just always need to. And you know, man. people get tired. I ain't gonna get out there you know, and do all the work. You get out there and you do all the work, and then they don't do nothing. And that's what I'm talking about. I'm not gonna get out there and do all the work. How, uh, what, I'm, what I'm asking, what I'm asking the board members because the petition is asking what I'm board. asking the board members. Neighbors are here. I'm proud of this place. <laughs> 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 what you said, Mr. Crown, this you place. Get your neighbors together. And crowd, 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 crowd. crowd. <laughs> if that's what it takes, you know, yeah. and it's gonna well, take. It's gonna take just like you all said, you know, joining together yeah. and letting um, the leadership know that you, you you're not gonna do it. It's two of us. Mm-hmm. It is more than um. It's right at ten thousand of you all. That's right. So you you, you all do the numbers and. Um, we, um, I, I've been saying it forever, and I'm going to continue to say it, is that I'm with you. What mm-hmm. you need, what you want, mm-hmm. then that's, that's mm-hmm. what I am fighting to do. And so, you know, as, as customers, you all uh, brainstorm however it is, because just like this Mara said, you are the, the bloodline. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, Miss Wiggum was saying, circulate. Let it be known, Miss Dulaney, That's you know, right. about joining up mm-hmm. with others because it, it, it is, it's power in numbers. Mm-hmm. Uh, it is power in, in numbers. And I just thought that it, it was, it, for one thing, it was disappointing tonight when I got here and had to plead with the sheriff's deputy. And I appreciate you for being, you know, courteous, but it was also hurtful. It was disrespectful Mm -hmm. uh, as a board member to have to go through that and have to and have to argue. Mm -hmm. So we um, as 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 board members, we have some some um, talking and some demanding to do uh, uh, of our peers here. You know, that that won't uh, ever happen again. Because that, you know, we you, you all deserve better. And Miss Dana Allen Foster has said that, that the citizens of Pritchard deserve better. Well, if she felt that way, she seems like she would tonight. be here tonight. Okay. She would be here right now. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And uh, we're going to find out some questions in the little minutes that we have about the meters as soon as we can get our office staff um, around here. And uh, um, Miss Dole, if you want to carry on, I hope. Well, do you have any idea when are we going to get our meat, our uh, wells? Because um, you said that we have the money. Well, no, because like we said, it's, it's, it's the staff. We need what? new leadership. Leadership is dragging their feet just like they didn't come to the meeting. Yeah, both of them against you. They, 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 they're against us. But that's what <coughs> the citizens come in at. Mm-hmm. If you're tired, Say something. What's your opinion? Because long as you don't say nothing to them, they're not going to do anything. Sure. We all have one vote, and it takes three votes. Yeah. And me and Director Johnson can't do it alone. Mm-hmm. We need the citizen to say something, stand up, and let them know that you're tired of being mistreated. You're tired of them thinking they can just do what they want to yeah. do, how do they want to do it, and you fill it up. Do something. Do something and say something. Mm-hmm. However it takes for them to realize that the citizens and preachers are tired of putting people in office, people get on here and do what they want to do. And it's not fair to y'all. And they tell us that when they're running, they tell us that they're going to do things to help the citizens. But when they get up there, it's a different thing. Mm-hmm. But guess what? It's a, it's a serenity for that too. I know what it is. Just as good as you put them down, you can okay. vote them out. That's right. Hey, Amen. It don't take what twenty six percent to start another election hmm. and get them out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly. That is that is public record. 
What I'm passing out now is um, customer concern forms. Um, I will ask each one of you to take one, and you may have some neighbors or whatever that have questions or concerns. This um, gets you on the agenda here at the um, Pritchett Water Works and Sewer Board meeting so that you can address the, the five of us. Yes, Thank you. There you are, Mr. Lane. If you just minutes you need and pass them around. Well, one thing that we want to make sure, uh, directors, that we, we have the money. Yes, we have. Because uh, citizens are told, and you all know that, that we don't have, that you all don't have any money. We have money. Yeah, we have. So we need to know that you got the money, like, like you say, that the money is there, the banks that the money uh, is in, and who has access to this money. Because money have a way of leaving. Mm -hmm. exactly. And the money be gone. And we gonna have no wealth. Wells, exactly. Be indebted to pay for something that you no longer have. Well, I can answer that question. Who has access to it? And that's our fiscal service director, Ms. Teresa Lewis. And also our leadership. The chairman, vice chairman, and secretary of treasury. Are the signs for each administration. Thank you that signs the checks, that meets with the bank, um, you know, get signature cards. So they are the ones that, um, you know, are you, in charge of the money and, and, and how it's um, in and in and out, the transactions of it. And so therefore, as customers, you, you do need to um, monitor and um, come to meetings and ask those questions about the money and, and what is being done with it, what capital projects have been done, um, what type of vehicles or equipment or whatever it is that's being purchased to help provide for you all the services that you need, the repairs. I'm glad to see Mr. Mike McClintock here. And uh, I would like for you to go into, if you would, our progress and process so far on the wells because that is the question. That was raised. I met with uh, Mr. Dan O'Donnell today. And, uh, he was fixing to put out for, uh, for bids on the shallow well, the deep well, or the test well. We've got to run the test wells first. Mm -hmm. uh, we've uh, got one quote, but we're going to go ahead and, and, uh, and do a bid package. And so we'll be ready to move forward. But you know, once we get the bid package, we're looking at that's supposed to go out April 1st. And hopefully, we've got to advertise for one month. We'll open in March, and we'll have a contractor by the end. Okay. okay. What, 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 when you say bid package, what's involved in that? That's a every bit of the information that the contractor needs to. You know, they want they want in detail what we what we need, what size. This is just test well. We've got to go through the test well project. Part you know the part of this project first, but. It's in the package, you know, the details of how deep we need to go, what kind of materials we're going to be using, what, what kind of water production we're looking for so we can put the right size, they can put the right size pump in there. So we're moving forward with it. I mean, it's, it's just slow progress. Once it gets started, it, it'll speed up and you'll see, you know, lots of progress. And I got you. But you have a question, Ms. Morris. I, I wanted to know, have we spent any more of that $14 million to so sound like it's starting all over again. The only thing that's being spent right now is the metery, the meter project. It's part of that. And it's, and it's going in every day. No. They're putting meters in every day. No, sir. I'm talking about the $14 million for so the wells. Way up, way up, uh, you, oh. Two sets of money, $14 million for the wells and the other well, that's for right the right. meters, if, I, if I'm correct. Right, exactly. And that's what I was just shaking on the, on the uh, bids that's going to be going out for the test wells. That's part of the process. I mean, very little bit of that money, maybe a thousand or some dollars have been spent towards Dan O'Donnell's fees, you know, for his, for what he's been doing. So, not have, very much. Have they uh, tested uh, 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 prior to the uh, bringing in the old company? Because McDonald's is, is the company that they had prior to Mr. King. Exactly right. And uh, have, they, have they done more testing 
my question to the board that directors, uh, since Mr. King never did some testing. No, no, no testing have, has been done. Yeah. That's what my, uh, Mr. McClintock was just saying, that no testing has, you know, been done. And, and that's my problem with it is because we had someone here that, you know, was doing that process. And because leadership voted to fire Hayes and Sawyer, who had walked through the process, doing modern technology, um, you know, using the latest equipment um, for lead testing so that we wouldn't end up like Flint, Michigan, leadership voted to fire him on November the 8th, um, hired Dan really? O'Donnell November the 9th, who is tapping into old well sites that have not been used um, in over 40 years. So now you tell me if you go and you turn on a faucet that hadn't mm. been used mm. in over Real 40 small. years, what type of water you gonna get? Real small. Thank yeah. you, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Dangerous water, yeah. unhealthy yeah. water. Yeah. And that is what leadership um, is doing and trying to sweep it and hide it under the rug and making every attempt. You all saw firsthand so that um, we, the customers, would, will not know anything about it until oops, yeah. and then we got a Flint, Michigan situation. So if I'm hearing correct, we are going back over what we had already verified. Exactly, yes. And so it, 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 it has nothing to do with you, sir. But if we are going back over, that means that we are going to re-spend money mm -hmm. that we've already spent to show that this is not uh, effective. We don't need to go that way. Mm -hmm. But now we call back in the same company and keep going back over the same thing that the other company just told us yes. that we don't need. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's, that's it. it. That's, that's it. it. That's it. That's it. So that's how... You lose your, we losing our money. Right. That's, how right. lose it. That's how we lose it. That's how we lose the buddy buddy system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we, we all know what buddy buddy means. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's all that So share. what can you all do as board members to stop this from going on? Well what we can do is is fight with you all. Mm -hmm. You know, you all get the get the fire going. And you then, bring you gonna bring the information which, to us. Exactly. Yes. And that's what we're doing tonight. Yes. Mm -hmm. Getting it started yeah. that y'all would know exactly what's, what's going, going on. on. Yeah. And it always mm -hmm. be three to two. That's what yeah, all mm -hmm. the time. So exactly. But like I said, it's it's ten thousand of you all. Mm -hmm. and so that's pressure, true. you know, needs to be um applied. How we get here is through the city council. Mm -hmm. uh, the city council appoints us, so keep that in mind. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So uh, we can go through our city council. I, I want to ask this question here. If I got a question, I feel like I should be able to, and I'm in district too, to contact uh, my district representative, who is uh, Mrs. Dorr, yeah, to uh, ask her a question. And in the process, I'll start from there. She will uh, direct me. But now, if the, her colleagues are not giving her any information mm -hmm. or sharing information, then she cannot direct me effectively to tell me what to do. Mm -hmm. So if it's a disrespect there, mm -hmm. then we as citizens in District 2 have to clear that up. That's right. Because yeah. she represents District 2. Mm -hmm. Correct. And she has a right to voice her opinion and to bring issues to this board. Mm -hmm. And we are not, we are not, I feel that our, our uh, Mrs. Doyle is not being respected by her mm -hmm. colleagues no. the way that she should be no. respected. No, 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 she isn't. No, she isn't. And that's no, not right. Because mm -hmm. I, I bring them certain things and I don't get no response. Mm -hmm. So then we are not being represented as a body. Mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. Exactly. And we need to let people know that in district, uh, are you being represented, uh, Mrs. Uh, Teresa? Mm -hmm. What about you, Ms. Knox? Do you all know who is your ward board representative? Yeah, no, no. Uh, Ms. Edwards, Knox, you all know who is your ward board representative? Yeah, I know who is your ward board 
She's your city, city council, council representative, but you have a water board representative. Well, who is, who is, uh, who is not water board? Chairman Russell Halberg is your water board representative. The man in blue suit. The man, oh, the man in blue suit. <laughs> so, yes. Oh, no. This is your director. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's been on the, well on the board yeah, I ain't got nobody. Okay. since 2008. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure, we'll miss that. Keep putting it back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Everybody on this board is a director. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I go to him with that. still one mm -hmm. vote. Mm -hmm. okay. So we can go to our city council because we are not an at large uh, city government. We are districts, right? Mm -hmm. And we have a, a, a representative for each district, right? Mm -hmm. And, and uh, the city council uh, person or persons rep recommend, and then the council vote on it, mm -hmm. and then that person becomes the representative of that district, mm -hmm. and then you work together as a uh, body. Mm -hmm. But if our representative is not respected, we're not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. 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 That's correct, Ms. Mar. That is correct. Mm -hmm. That is correct. So we, we are doing all that we can by fighting to hold these type of meetings, getting you all the information that we can, those customer concern forms. Get so involved. You, you all do, yes, get involved. Now, who signs the checks? I want to know how the money leaves here. I think we as citizens. Is that a fair question? Yes, it is. Who, who signs the checks? Beverly Washington Bunch is the Secretary of Treasury. Mm -hmm. Okay. Does she sign the check? Yes, she does. Okay. She's the Secretary of Treasury. Mm -hmm. She signs every check that goes out of this building. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Russell what Heidelberg. What district does she represent? Huh? What district does right. she represent? Uh, four. District four. All right. He's district five. Five. Yeah. He's District 3, I am 2, and Director Johnson is 1. Mm -hmm. And those are your three board directors. Man. Those are the ones that signed sign you only, the check. You only said that. Uh, but, they, okay, who else signed the check? Russell Heidelberg and, and ex-mayor. Ron Davis. Well, they got three people signed the check. Yes. They all have um, signature. Mm -hmm. um, have signed, this, is, uh, this is your vice president. Mm -hmm. This is your president. This is your secretary of treasury. So basically the three that's board members that's not in attendance are right. the ones that exactly. signed the checks. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Makes a little more sense. Now what about, uh, <laughs> what about the, uh, uh, what, what is the person here? Uh, the fiscal service uh, manager. That is Ms. Teresa Lewis. Okay, so what is uh, Miss Teresa Lewis? Does she sign checks? She had some signature power, but she is the one. All of the money that comes in to Pritchard Water Works and Sewer Board that comes in and also goes out. So she is our money lady. You know, she deals with our revenue as well as our ex expenses. So all the money comes in have to come come through, through her. To come through Teresa Lewis. And then the money that goes out goes to her. Goes, goes through her. Okay. Yes. Correct. 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 And have to be signed off by the it three has to be board signed members. Off, yes. yes. By two of those um board members that are in leadership. But the Secretary of Treasury, she's the one that signs Constantly, and it, it can rotate between the chairman and the vice chair. Now, do you all ever get copies or anything to validate what's going out of here and what's coming in here? No, that was raised by Director Doyle a couple of days ago. Yes, they'll want you to know. Yeah, I came in and I asked for certain things, and I had a problem with them giving it to me. And ever since I've been on the board, I've been expressing to them that. They own a one vote. Each one of us have one vote. And we have the same. If Mr. Johnson come in here uh, and ask for something, I can come in and ask for it to any ship and give it to me. But as y'all witnessed today, certain people think they have the power to say what goes and what don't go. But they don't. The only power they have is when he's sitting in that chair, that chairperson, at a regular scheduled board meeting, have the authority to 
control the meeting. And that's it. That's it. Make sure the meeting. He don't have no them. other power than when we up in a regular board meeting. So no, we do not. The answer to that question, no, no. we do not receive um, copies of any type of um, bill um, transaction. We do get a reading file with selective information on it. When I say selective, whatever leadership chooses to yes. put out there and share with us. Yeah. But the everyday, um, all of the financial trans transactions, no. Yeah. And when we are asked when we ask and request that information, just like Director Doyle said, there is a problem. You know, that we have to push, fight, just like you all witnessed here tonight. Mm -hmm. Yes, Mr. Young. Before the three other board members were, well, I know you said one of them were, has been appointed for many years now. But uh, before those three, who were the, uh, the three before, prior to them that uh, were signing the checks? For the water board. Um, you have yours truly, John Johnson, which was vice chairman. You okay. have Nathaniel Edge, that was chairman. chairman. And you had Ayanna Payton, that was secretary. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. And before then, you, if you can remember, who was who was your chairperson? Um, before then, it was Russell Howard. But like I said, Russell Halliburton has been here they got it too. Uh, okay. in control um, and leadership in some type of way, mainly chairman, ever <clears> since <throat> 2008. And ain't never really changed for Pritchard Water Boy since then, except for rates going up, right? <laughs> I mean, that, that's basically like what's been going on. Do you all remember, remember Severn Trent? Yes. And what year... <laughs> That transaction went down and happened. Yes. And which, which, that was in 2014. Mm -hmm. So you go from 2008 up until now, and you know who was on the board, who was in leadership. Under that contract, um, Pritchard Water paid for trucks, equipment, Mr. Mike, um, you name it. Call. Cause exactly, exactly, Miss Wiggum. And and when you <laughs> when when Pritchard Water ended that contract, then all of that equipment, uh, vehicles, cars, whatever it was that was purchased while Severn Trent um, that was contracted in, in 2014, all of that went with them. Yeah. And so Pritchard Water had to start all over again. So again, purchasing trucks, vehicles, Mr. McClintock, um, equipment. So again, it's not a money problem. So when you sit down there, whoever it is that you talk with, and they tell you that we don't have any money, no, we don't have proper management. Because who would have entered into a deal that would be set up that way that you're going to pay them um, $500,000 a month just to manage things and then you're going to purchase equipment, vehicles, whatever it was, and then you're going to allow them to take all of that with you. Mm -hmm. That is not good sense and it's definitely no, not good no, management no. sense. Sure and that is public record. And also, Mr. Johnson, can you tell them about the vote when we voted to get rid of and what happened? When, as I wasn't on the board then, but um, as to my understanding, is that once the citizens again, you know, had to push and fight because of leadership and the chairman that was the, the, the chairman, the same chairman was in, in control when the when, when we the citizens of Pritchett was complaining about high water bills, this then the other turned to deaf ear, hardened his heart, did not care, forced us to have to go, uh, and Miss Morris can explain yeah. this more, but to go to Montgomery, Washington, D.C., and, and, and back here to get um, a, a resolution on, on, the, on the ticket that we could vote to dissolve Pritchard Water Works and Sewer Board. That happened. Mm -hmm. And in order um, to be dissolved, 
then we needed someone to pick us up immediately. Because you can't be, your, your water system cannot be ungoverned right. for, for five hours. Mm -hmm. You know, less than yeah. weeks or months at a time. So Mars was there to pick us up. But because of leadership being underhanded and going behind the scenes and signing um, a, a contract with the, with the um, British company Severn Trent for over 30 some million dollars, mm -hmm. that caused us um, to be rejected by Mars and placed back into the hands of the leadership um, with Severn Trent. And leadership did not care, you know, how that got paid. You know, if you had to look at your water bill and decide if you want to eat or take half of your medicine or whatever. So that is what we are dealing with now. That same type of leadership. Yeah, there, Ms. Dulane, the leadership went behind the customer's back, signed the deal, and made sure that um, no relief was provided then. Exactly. So we, we have to continue with this fight, but the good thing of it is is that you have two loyal, dedicated board members that are willing to fight for you and to stand up for you now. And that's the and difference. So the, and that's the difference. Mm -hmm. That's the difference. And if I, if I may say something. Yes. Uh, one thing I think we must remember as, as citizens of the city of Pritchett is that when we work together and do something, we work together, and this water board was dissolved because of the citizens. Mm -hmm. It was this it was it, we won twice. Yes. And uh and Mr. Johnson said this water water cannot be left unmanaged for five minutes. Mm -hmm. And because of that, the only way that Pritchard Water and Sewer Board was able to retrieve itself was to uh sign this thirty two million dollar contract and outsource our water system with servant trend. And when they outsourced it, you need to put a pen in this, when they outsourced it, they outsourced everything that we own except the building. All of the cars, all of the vehicles, all of the equipment. And when new leadership came in again, Mr. Mike, I think that's your name, Mr. Michael. And when new, new leadership came in again, New leadership had to start all over from scratch. Exactly. And we yes. need to keep a pen in that. All over from scratch. We paid Servant Trent 500 So don't say we don't have any money. And don't say it's no money in the city of Princeton. No, we paid Servant Trent, Mr. Mario, we paid Servant Trent $500,000 a month. Now, where did that money come from? It came out of our backs, <laughs> out of our retirement, out of our pension, out of our hard labor. That's where the money came from. So it's not a money problem. It's a management problem. But we are here to tell you that we're going to get our wells. And if that money get enough feet and start walking away, we following that money. We filing that, that $14 million for the wells and the rest of it for the meters and everything else. And we will speak with our, and if I'm, if I'm out of order, you citizens said, we will speak with our city council people yes. in regards to our representatives yes. Yes. because we are not going to allow our representatives to be disrespected. Mm, yes, because your city council reps are voted for. They are elected. Right. And they do place us. They That's keep how putting the same people back on here, and we get the same thing. Same results. Same results. Same results. And we want our wells, Mr. Michael. And we want the wells. <laughs> and it's a lot of money in Pritchard. And it's a lot of citizens in Pritchard. Yes, it is. And I did not know when I got out enrolled that day. I, I ride, but I rode, you mostly ride this way, mm -hmm. not toward, not north, not north, and I got out, and I rode north, and it's houses all back <laughs> everywhere, all behind that, 
elementary school up there. That I did not even know was back there. You go on the other side. And before you get to that Sims line, mm -hmm. houses all back up in there. And I said, to, I said myself, and I told someone, I said, I did not know that Pritchett had this many citizens in it. They taking in some money. Exactly. 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 Johnson said one month they took in one million, million and some dollars one month. Yes, we see. That's what he said. Nine hundred and some dollars one month. Mm -hmm. Eight hundred and some dollars one month. Mm -hmm. So the money coming in. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah. It really is. We're going to ask y'all to stand because we're going to unite together with her. And we're going to ask that the citizens come together and let the le uh, leadership know y'all want to change. Yeah, we want to change. Because if they're not doing right with that money, as um, Miss Severe Tamil Morton say, mm -hmm. it's going to be a walk down there. Then we're going to be with Dr. Right Williams. For a long time. So we're going to ask Mr. Veer one to say a poll and prayer. Morris. Morris. Sorry. Excuse me, Mr. Veer Campbell Morris. I, I know <laughs> that she said a prayer that God would intervene. Yes, Lord. You want to uh, touch someone's hand, sir? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Lord. Uh, yes. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for being God and God all by yourself. Yes, yes. Thank you for your son, Jesus. Thank you for your precious Holy Ghost. Yes, Father God, we thank you as you continue to look beyond our faults and see our needs. Yes. Because none of us are perfect, but we come before you, Lord. We come before you with stretched out arms and open hands. Yes. We are joined here together, Lord. We can't do it by ourselves, Lord. Yes. We need your help, Lord. Yes. We need your help, Lord. We need your help, Lord. Yes. We just thank you right now, Lord. We yes. thank you, Lord, for opening doors for us, Lord, yes. that no man can yes. close. Yes. And closing doors for us, Lord, that no man can open. Yes. Father God, we thank you, Lord, to give us the strength and the courage yes. to go on, Lord, to do things in decent and in order, Lord. Yes. Thank you for our wells, Lord. Yes. Thank you for these rates not being increased, Lord, yes. Yes. but the yes. rates going yes. down, Lord. Yes. One by one and name by name. Yes. It's not what goes into a man that defiles him, but it's yes. what comes out of him, Lord. Yes. Lord, we thank you for touching the hearts of our leadership, Lord. Yes. Lord, we need new leadership, Lord. Yes. In your name, yes. Jesus. Yes. Oh, thank you right yes. now, yes. for your grace is sufficient, and your mercy endure yes. forever. Bless Bless everybody that join in right now, Lord. Yes, the, bless the families, Lord. Yes, Lord. One by one and name by name. Yes, bless Lord. this city, Lord. Yes, in the Lord. name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank in the name Jesus. of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And so it is. Yes. Amen. 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 Yes. Um, I would like to thank y'all for coming out to the meeting. Spread the word that yes. we don't need to increase. We got money. Mm -hmm. Let the people know about the wells. We want new wells. We don't want old wells. But we don't want to be a Lake Michigan. Then you come to the meeting more often. Yes. 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 Y'all have a blessed night. And that meeting is what Monday? The second Monday of every month. At 4 30, right? At 4 30. And it's February what? It's February 14th. This this okay, one. Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. Okay. Yes. This has been a special edition of the Big Y'all J45 Live Morning Show. Y'all have to put your water board. Y'all, uh, stay tuned. I have updates. Uh, for those of you that asked me about these seats to be on the agenda, I have a few of them. So get with me if you need one. Uh, may, may get some more cops up. But thank y'all for being tuned in. I'm Big Y'all, the Big Y'all, J45 Live Morning Show. Peace.